And when I finished the prayer, Harry leaned over the counter and said, Hey, Campolo, you didn't tell me you were a preacher. What kind of church you preach in? And in one of those moments when God gives you just the right words, I said, I preach in a church that throws birthday parties for whores at 3.30 in the morning. And, and he said, and he said, no, you don't. No, you don't. He said, I would join a church like that. Wouldn't we all? Wouldn't we all join a church that threw birthday parties for whores at 3.30 in the morning? I got news for you. That is the kind of church Jesus came to create. I don't know where we got this other one. I don't know where we got this other one, but God wants to wake up America, raise up America, create in America a new generation of young people who do weird things. God came to fill you with love and to transform you into a creature of love so that you could bring joyful celebration into the world. I love creating the birthday party for my friend in Honolulu because being a Christian is this. It's not just laying a guilt trip on people. It's bringing hope and joy and celebration to people who have none in their lives, whether those people are in diners in Honolulu or in the slums of Haiti. It's caring. It's really caring. And that's what I want for you kids. I want you to become caring people. Because life isn't worth much if you don't care. And there is no joy to life if you don't care. I want you to be so possessed by the love of God that you will want to change the way you live. That you will want to change the commitment of your life and say, from now on, my only question is, how can I serve Jesus with my whole mind, soul, and strength? Closing story. I belong to a black church, an African-American church in Philadelphia. Once a year, we have Student Recognition Day. And the young people from our church who are going out to school come back and give their testimonies. It's a wonderful day because... The old folks in my church grew up in America where black people didn't have much of a chance, and here they are giving their testimonies. I'm studying law at Harvard. I'm studying music at Juilliard. I'm studying art at Tyler. I'm studying literature at Yale. And the old folks just sit there, and they just enjoy what the young people are doing. And they say, my, my, thank you, Jesus, thank you. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. When they were finished, my pastor got up and looked at these young people as I'm looking at you. And he said, children, that's the way he talks. Children, he said, you're going to die. You're going to die. You don't think you're going to die, but you're going to die. They're going to drop you in a hole. They're going to throw dirt in your face. And they're going to go back to the church and eat potato salad. <laughs> that's the truth, baby. He said, when you were born, you were the only one that cried. Everybody else was happy. Here's the real question. When you die, will you be the only one that's happy? You'll be the only one that's happy, and everybody else will cry. Depends, he says. Depends on what you live for. Did you live for titles? The kind of titles your mother wants you to have, your father wants you to have, the school wants you to have. Do you want titles, or do you want testimonies? That's good, isn't it? And then he did what only my preacher can do. He swept through the entire Bible in one sweep. He said, there was Moses and there was Pharaoh. Pharaoh was ruler of Egypt. Good title. Pharaoh, ruler of Egypt. But when it was over, that's all he had was a title. He had the title, but Moses had testimonies. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. He said, there was Jezebel. There was Jezebel and, and the prophet Elijah. Jezebel was the queen, the queen of Babylon. Good title, queen. Queen Jezebel. Elijah was just a beaten down prophet. But when it was over, people, listen to me, children, he said. When it was over, that's all Jezebel had was a title. She had the title, but 
People were standing around when Elijah died and giving testimonies. Kind of gets to you, doesn't it? He went on for a long time. There was Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar was king, good title king. Daniel was nothing but a man to be thrown to the lions. But when it was over, when it was over, all Nebuchadnezzar had was a title. He had the title. But Daniel had... I call you, I beseech you, I beg of you, my brothers and sisters, like it says in Scripture, to present yourselves this morning as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your only reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world and what it's trying to sell you. Be radical. Be committed. Be revolutionary. Offer your lives up to Jesus and say, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I will do. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. Whatever you want me to be, I will be. I am yours, Lord. When it's over, I don't care what titles they write on my tombstone. I want to make sure that there'll be people standing around giving to this end. May you live. God bless you.